Shanghai is the most populous city in China and the second busiest port in the world after Hong Kong. In order to keep up with the expansion of the city and the surrounding area, the municipal government made the decision to construct what would become the container port that is the largest in the entire globe. And the container terminals will be built in stages on the Yangshan Islands, which are 30 kilometers offshore, so that the largest container ships that are in use now and will be used in the future will have enough depth. At the moment, the Yangshan Deep Water Port has the title of being the biggest freight port in the world. The new port of Yangshan is located in Hangzhou Bay, to the south of Shanghai. It was constructed to avoid expansion limits for the port of Shanghai that were caused by shallow seas. It enables berths with depths of up to 15 meters to be developed, and it is equipped to handle the biggest container ships that are in use today. The port accomplishes this by being constructed on the offshore islands of the Greater and Lesser Yangshan, which are a part of the Zuzan Archipelago. These islands were combined by land reclamation and connected to the mainland via the Donghai Bridge, which was opened on December 1st, 2005, and is the second longest ocean bridge in the world, at a length of 32.5 kilometers. At a total length of 36 kilometers, the Hangzhou Bay Bridge in China is the world's longest bridge to span a body of water. As a component of the port of Shanghai, the Yangshan Deep Water Port is a witness to the decisive strides China is taking towards opening its economy. The relatively small port gives off a lot of energy because it is such an important place for international trade. In 2021, the port of Shanghai handled more than 47 million 20-foot equivalent units of containers. This put it first in the world for the 12th year in a row. However, the Yangshan port handled about half of these containers instead of the port of Shanghai. Also, the port of Shanghai is linked to more than 300 international maritime routes. Most of these routes go to the ocean, and more than 80 of them start at the Yangshan port. As a result of China's more rapid opening up policies, the country's exports and imports skyrocketed in the 1990s. At that time, the majority of Shanghai's ports were located along the Huangpu River and the southern bank of the Yangtze River estuary. Neither of these locations had a deep water berth, so heavy load boats were unable to dock there. As a result, in 1995, the city of Shanghai decided to prioritize the construction of a port with deep water. The building of the Yangshan port didn't get off the ground until a year after China was accepted into the World Trade Organization in December 2001. The first portion of the port was open for business by the time 2005 came to a close. Soon after the Yangshan port began operations, the port of Shanghai quickly rose to the position of having the highest container thoroughput of any port in the world. The thoroughput of the Yangshan port has been setting new records on an annual basis, and this is largely due to the implementation of major national strategies, such as the Belt and Road Initiative, the construction of pilot free trade zones, and the Yangtze River Economic Belt, amongst other initiatives. Because the number of transshipments at Yangshan Port keeps going up, it has become a world center. On December 10th, 2017, the trial operation for the fourth phase of the Yangshan Port got underway. The project is referred to as an unmanned terminal due to the fact that it is the biggest automated container terminal in the world and it is capable of operating 24 hours a day. The process of growing and developing the Shanghai Port Authority began construction of a vast new terminal in 2002 in order to accommodate the growing volume of traffic from northern China. If it were developed into a facility on par with those found in other megaports in Southeast Asia, such as the Singapore and Taizhong Pelepas, and Taizhong Pelepas, Yongshan would be a competitor. In 2003, port authorities were pushed to go public as a result of the massive effort, at which time they were offered shares in the newly formed Shanghai International Port Group. The local government owns 44.23% of the port, and is a shareholder in the publicly traded company SIPG, which is traded in the Shanghai Exchange. To make room for the enormous structure, dredge debris was packed down and compacted 
to increase the size of the land area that lies between the Yangshan Islands. After four stages of work that increased the entire area of the port by 600 acres, it was finally finished in the year 2015. The whole price tag now exceeds $11 billion by a significant margin. The Zhengzai Sun district of Shanghai is connected to the Shikzangzi container complex via a causeway that has six lanes in each direction. To finish the job, 6,000 people toiled away over the course of two years. Operating a megaport, a depth of 49 feet may be found along the vast quay that stretches for three and a half kilometers in total length. On a total of 30 berths, there are 65 cranes of the post Panamax, Neo Panamax, and or the Suez class, each of which is equipped to handle ships with 19,000 to 22,000 TEUs. It is possible that a bird's eye view will show as many as 20 cargo ships and lighters engaged in activity at any one moment. It is not uncommon to see ships of the Suez class, such as the CSCL Globe, which has a beam of 194 feet, an overall length of 1,312 feet, and a capacity of 19,000 TEU. It is unheard of for ships of that type to be equipped with eight cargo cranes while being worked on in the United States. This guarantees that the ships will leave at scheduled times. In fact, it is not all unusual to see a ship with 12,000 to 14,000 DEU being worked on by five cranes. In 2014, Shanghai was able to handle 35.285 million TEUs, giving it a lead of 1.415 million containers over its nearest competitor, Singapore. Today, Yangshan is the port that handles the most container traffic of any other port in the world. Since the 1990s, the container throughput of Shanghai port has been steadily increasing at a fast rate. However, there were a number of problems including insufficient water depth, a shortage of water resources, and a larger gap in the capacity of the container port to handle shipping containers. In recent years, neighboring countries and areas have been speeding up their building of container terminals with a sea depth of 15 meters, which has been a source of international rivalry for China in this position. The competition is becoming tougher. In order to improve Shanghai's standing on the global stage, the Zengang site has to be made accessible to the public. On the other hand, the building of Yangshan port should focus on creating huge container terminals that have a decent depth and a distinctive natural setting. That's all for today's video guys. Hope you guys love what you saw today in today's video. Make sure to inform us about your view about this project in the comment section below. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and see you in the next video. Until then, best wishes.